Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be playing with an image manipulating app. Um, this app actually is available on the web, so you don't actually have to self-host it, but they do have a Docker self-hosted version. Um, so we're gonna show you how to do that, but we'll also show you what the app can do. Um, this is kind of a nice app. So, you know, say for example, you have like, you know, live images that you need to size to a specific dimension, um, switch it up, or you just wanted like kind of pick your quality and like, you know, compress it but not lose too much quality you can kind of see it real time how it compresses um and i'll show you you know an example as we kind of do it um it's kind of really nice to kind of be able to gauge that while you're you know manipulating the image so um but we're gonna show you how you can self-host it um if you decide to do so um the application is called squish um which is actually kind of you know makes sense for what it's trying to accomplish so um let's get started all right so since we want to do the self-hosted version, what we need to do is spin up a VM. So, um, you know, my kind of prereqs that I have to kind of spin up a VM very quickly. Um, it's all automated in my steps. So you can check out like my automation series videos, um, series, and you can kind of watch how it works in the back end for some of these videos. Um, so what we need to do is update our DNS. So we can squish out a DNS record for squish in our network and then we'll have to remember the IP address which is going to be a 93 from there we can commit that squish and then after that we need to add it to our automation inventory list um, so we use Ansible to automate the build so it needs to know that you know the machine exists so we need to add it to the inventory so we'll add that in here squish and squish and that is essentially all the prereqs that i need to do um based off of how i set up all my automation um the dns will just make it dns accessible ansible with the inventory will allow me to run all my playbooks against it um so with ansible we utilize awx um, which is just kind of more of a gui interface for um, running ansible playbooks we created this template workflow um, that will essentially run multiple templates that will essentially create my new vm patch it install docker and docker compose uh create the certs on my ca server and then update nginx to use those certs um so it's actually pretty neat and if you really want like in depth of like each step my automation series videos kind of explains a, a lot a little bit more in detail so um from here we'll add the host name so the host name will be squish the IP address will be the IP address we put in the DNS. The VM name is just what I have so that will show up in vCenter so we can just name it whatever we want. Now the proxy address is where Nginx will proxy this application. So what we'll do is look up Squish Docker. And they have a Docker Compose down here and we'll actually use how they use the port. So in this case um, it will be listening on 7701. So we'll proxy it through HTTP local host 7701 and then we will hit next and then we will launch it so from here it will go through each individual step to create the VM patch it install docker create the set on my CA uh, server and copy it over into my nginx and proxy pass it through um, this 7701 port so this will take a few minutes so we'll fast forward the video once this finishes all right so now that it has a finished creating the VM, what we can do is open a terminal session. We can SSH to it, squish dragon.local. And now we essentially have the back end VM that is that will be used. So you can see Docker is installed. We can see that engine Nginx <laughs> is active and running so what we'll do here is go here we will copy the docker compose um so so they did this as a like a one one liner type situation where um you could copy this whole thing and it'll create the squish docker compose file um what i'm going to do is just create a docker compose file and then just put in the contents that it would put in here <laughs> so we we'll just call this docker compose.yaml and we will paste that 
So you can see that it will essentially just create a image, grab Squish, the container name will be Squish, it'll put it in the Squish network and um, open up uh, 7701 and forward that to 8080 on the container. So we can save that and then we can do a docker compose up and detach hyphen d for detach so it doesn't pull out the logs here. This should only take a few seconds um, since it's only one container and it's not that big. So you can see that everything started up here. We can see that it is running. So what we should be able to do now is go to browser, type in HTTPS squish dot dragon dot local and you get the same page that you would kind of get um, when you go to ac Squish's actual website, which I believe is just squish.app. Um, but this is self-hosted because that's what this channel is all about. It's about self-hosting and having fun, right? But what you can do is uh, drag, copy, and paste. So what we'll do is we'll go to downloads. Um, so you can see I got like this image of my myself. This is the image that I use for um, <coughs> my YouTube videos thumbnails. So you can see here that there's the slider here. So the left side will always be the side of the original photo. The right side will always be what it turns out after you do the edits. So say for example, we want this width to be like 1714. So you can see that now I've changed the width. Um, and you can kind of see where the quality is practically more or less the same. Um, you can't really tell the difference, but there is a quality tab here where you can actually move the quality left and right so like say for example you really want to compress it so like you can see right down here the the image is 108 kilobytes and here this is only 90 19.4 kilobytes um, but I did put the quality of my image uh, you know you can you can tell it's grainy and a little bit more blurry right but like if you're doing like an, an app or like a blog and you know you you know that you know this size picture isn't going to be that big and it's going to be smaller you know like maybe it's going to be like 400 you know with um you can you can tell that you know it's it's different in regards to quality so if you're going to compress it you probably want it a little bit higher so you don't lose as much quality um to it and you can still see that you know it it's clear on the left the original photo um but it's not as bad on the right you can obviously leave it at 100 um but in this case then you're not really compressing it you're going to actually just be making it um Bigger. So you can just kind of play around with it depending on what your use case is. Um, but you know, it's a slider. It's pretty easy. You can kind of just easily gauge. Oh, hey, you know, how much worse does that look in quality, right? Um, hopefully, this shows you know well in the video. But I mean, I can obviously turn the quality down to zero, and you can see, hey, that's actually kind of interesting. <laughs> um, but you can kind of you know do do the quality. Yeah, you can, you can see the quality difference for sure. So. But it's pretty simple. You can just easily pick, you know, hey, keep keep it about like 80% of what the quality is. And then once you're done, you can hit download and then it'll download the image and you can see the image appear. In this case, I just have paint. It's not even oh, an editor. So you can see the image. This is what it outputs. And that's pretty much it. Um, so it's pretty simple to easily change your dimensions if you need to, um, as well as your quality. Um, they, they also have other things like reducing cut color palettes, um, so that's less color palettes or dithering. I don't actually even know what that even means, um, but I'm sure anyone who actually does um, like Photoshop and stuff like that probably do. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.